Uh, as I got to know him, I realized he was just an average Joe like all the rest of us <laughs> who could write great songs. But uh, he's also, I mean, he's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He's won Grammys. He's won ACMs. He's won CMA Awards. He was a very eloquent president of the NSAI. And uh, he's also a very good friend of mine, Richard Lee. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. And my name is Mark Beeson. Well, I've uh, really enjoyed being a songwriter all, all of my uh, adult working life. I've been fortunate enough to do it straight out of college. I mean, I just left college uh, the day Nixon resigned, I think it was. He and I both uh, headed our, on our way about the, uh, that same afternoon. <laughs> and I um, had a, a friend hold a place for me down here to... Uh, see if I could hammer out some of my dreams down here in this great city. And, it, and coming from D.C., as I did, this is a really, uh, I mean, I think all of us know what a special town this is, the town of Nashville, Tennessee, where people sit around and uh, dream uh, professionally, professional dreamers. It's an amazing <laughs> thing, and, and they get sometimes paid handsomely for it. Other times... Not so handsomely, but uh, we have a great time. But uh, luckily, I've been able to survive in this business and had a lot of fun. And one of the most enjoyable parts of a very enjoyable profession is uh, in addition to all the great people I've met, like these two great people here uh, that you're listening to tonight, that one of the neatest things that ever happens to you when you're a songwriter, I think, and uh, you are the first person that ever hears a song on the planet Earth, that particular song. And if it's going to be a hit, if it becomes a hit by, by good luck and good fortune, a good producer, a good singer, and, and fixes anything that you broke in it, you're, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to be the first at anything. It's so special to me because I'm, you know, just, it never happens. But, uh, that's my big thrill, and this song I'm going to do for you now, I was the first guy on, the er on earth to hear it, and it's, it's kind of a thrill to me to be able to tell you that. You're looking at the guy that was the first to hear this song. <laughs> and uh, so I, I think that's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. You, start a, you should start an internet site. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call it first guy. No. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> first guy dot com. But I was... Uh, I was working with this song, and I had a, had a, uh, had a bit of an idea for it, and uh, really was stumbling around on it, and I had, had the colors in it all wrong and everything, and I looked down at my dog, Amanda, named after a country song, and she had these big brown eyes, and she was looking up at me, and I was singing about blue rainbows and everything, and I looked down at my brown-eyed dog, and I went, don't it make my brown eyes blue instead of turning my rainbows blue which was my idea her idea was much better so i'd like to sing this for amanda my dog who uh, is now uh, upstairs uh, somewhere writing with elvis i think and uh, she's a great songwriter in her own right but she gave me the idea and uh, it goes something like this i hope you remember it for the old girl <laughs> Don't know when I've been so blue Don't know what come over you You found someone new And don't it make my brown eyes blue But I'll be fine when you're gone I'll just cry all night long Say it isn't true And don't it make my brown eyes blue Tell me no secrets Tell me some lies Give me no reasons Give me alibis Tell me you love me Don't let me cry anything 
But don't say goodbye Cause I didn't mean to treat you bad Didn't know just what I had But honey now I do Oh and don't it make my brown eyes Don't it make my brown eyes Don't it make my brown eyes blue Thank you.